Greenhouse horticulture is an important sector since it provides us with fresh fruit and vegetables. However, nowadays growers are faced with a number of challenges. First, the availability of skilled staff that can oversee the complexity of a production system like this. And second, the increased complexity of the production system requires that we move to a more data-driven approach. And therefore, in the AGROS project, we work on the development of autonomous greenhouse systems. Our dot on the horizon is a fully autonomous controlled greenhouse system that is based on uh, sensor data and remotely controlled via an intelligent algorithm that has an objective call function like, for example, net profit. In this video, we would like to show you the autonomous control via the digital twin and the reinforcement learning algorithm. The digital twin is the software representation of the greenhouse and the crop together and it allows you to pre-compute the response of this system on your control settings and on the outside climate conditions. The digital twin algorithm controls actually everything, so the, the climate uh, in terms of heating temperature, uh, the watering in terms of determining when to apply the watering shots, and it, it determines when the lights are switched on, on or, or off and what CO2 concentration should be achieved in the greenhouse. And all these decisions, well, CO2 and lighting are based on the uh, comparison between costs and benefits of these actions. And on top of that, it also um, determines the crop strategy. So how many fruits should be maintained uh, in time in order to keep the crop in a good balance. So within this compartment, we use a reinforcement learning algorithm which trains a model to control the environment. Uh, this is done by running simulations on income and cost pro. And slowly over time, it will map actions toward outcomes. Uh, and in the end, we try and make a profit. Uh, and by running millions of simulations, it will learn to find the optimized controls uh, to run fully autonomous control of the greenhouse. So currently, we are only controlling the climate. We are not controlling irrigation, we are not controlling any crop management. This was a deliberate choice to keep things simple, to see how, how our algorithm performs within the compartment and to verify whether uh, the simulations align up with reality. Alternatively, we are collecting more and more data within the greenhouse. This can be used to improve our simulation models, which then in turn can lead to better trained algorithms.